Alright guys, what I got for you today is a test of my bullet resistant plate, the new one for 5.56. Shooting it with a 16 inch barrel. Um, and we're going to be shooting at a distance of 75 feet, 25 yards, pretty basic. So the, it's about 102 degrees out here on Cinco de Mayo in beautiful Yuma, Arizona. It's a little bit windy, so bear with me. Now the uh, plate that we're going to be shooting is the one that just newly developed and it's one layer of the aluminum on the back and then you have two layers of ceramic tile in front of that now we're going to be shooting it uh, once down here and then we're going to come at it again up here see if it has multi-hit capability and we're going to be measuring the back face deformation on this clay block so I think we'll take one shot first come down look at it uh, shoot it again come look at it now what we're also going to do is um, hit it again with M193. So we'll check it out, see how it does. Let's get to testing. All right, let's check it out. All right. So. Go ahead and put down in the comments below what you think is going to happen. Did it stop it or did it fail? Let's check it out. Oh boy, got some good damage in there. All right. All right, so we got a bunch of damage on the front there. You can see where it blew out. But. Oh, it did not pass. It did not pass through. So you can see, see right there where it hit. But you can see down there, that, I mean, there's no, down there, that's probably, I don't know, that's maybe a quarter inch in de deformation. I mean, you can barely even tell anything. You can tell it got punched a little bit, but that is nothing. It's like a baby punch. That's pretty effective. I am super stuck. So let's let's go in here. Let's check this out. Let me see you get in there. I mean, I just obliterated that right in there. That's pretty amazing. That's pretty cool. So it worked, guys. That's awesome. All right. Look at that, just kind of did a nice uniform split there. One that way, one that way. So the uh, denim aids in reducing the amount of spall that comes out of there. And it also aids in giving some uh, confinement to the tile so it doesn't all fly out everywhere. That's cool. All right, well, let's go ahead and um, we're gonna flip it over, shoot the top here with M193. And so the uh, M193 uh, it's faster, but it doesn't have a steel penetrator, but we'll, we'll see how it does. Alright, check it out. Alright. So, let's see how things turned out here. Go ahead and put it in the comments below if you think it stopped it or if it didn't. Let's check it out. <laughs> that was a good shot right on the dot. Check this baby out here. Let's see if it went through. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Interesting split. You got my sexy Gerber combat here combat holder oh and there is nothing no penetration that is pretty sweet so let's go ahead and show this there is almost no deformation on this one as well as you can see that yeah look at that nothing nothing at all no damage on the on the back side but there is a significant amount Front here, that is an interesting split. So, I'll be examining this later. Back at my 
house, but for what it is right here, that was a definite stop and it just pulverizes that bullet. I can't even see any fragments in there. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Sorry for the language. All right, cool. Now let's uh, shoot it again. Uh, we'll go ahead and do M855 again. See if it um, has a multi-hit capability. At least not in the same spot. But. And then we'll check out this one with uh, M193. Alright, M855, second hit. Alright, does that multi hit capability? Drop it down in the comments below, what do you think? We'll see. split on there. So I just hit it just left to center there. Just left to center. Alright. Nope. No penetration on that. Look at that. A little more back face deformation on that. Not much though. Gee, that's pretty incredible. That is nice. See, no deformation. Take a look at that. Open her up, big gaping hole. Post a comment below if you like gaping holes. <laughs> look at that. Bam. That was cool. Of course, down here. Down here was the first one. On the low right here. And then up here. A little high on the left there. Alright, so that's M855, two, two shots, two stops, so now let's go ahead and hit this with M193. Alright, M193. And put in the comments below if you think so. Let's check it out. Oh, nothing, nada, look at that, nothing, should be like right here, nothing, that's pretty cool, no back face deformation on this, man, that is cool, just to show you that it does give, let me push my thumb in there, Let's see, that's, if I give it a good little hit here. Yeah, that's, that's a small punch that is. Let's see that. So it does give. So that's pretty incredible. So I am impressed. This little sucker took four hits, two M855s, two M193s, and nothing. So I'm going to take this back home and we're going to go ahead and dissect it and see what we can learn from this. Alright, so we're here now at the, at the table after shooting this 
and we got the M855 plate that we shot down here and then we have the M193 up here so all right so I was able to completely cut this off and remove it <clears throat> and something interesting is that this construction adhesive obviously it doesn't the smooth tile surface has nothing really to grab a hold of so it doesn't really uh, adhere to the f surface very well and so I was actually just able to peel it off but it's pretty amazing you can see in here these craters and I mean there it's just just pulverized in there so but what that tells you is that yeah you have this kind of two inch space here that just gets you know destroyed but you know away from that you know you actually have a viable you know surface right here that could probably take another impact so you can see how these you know really didn't even affect each other and you can see how you know about three inches four inches away from here there's really not even any splintering of the tile in itself so that's pretty cool um, so if you come over here you know it's just it's just a mess <laughs> it's crazy how that tile just just gets destroyed look over here I mean you can't it's crazy is you, there's a little bit of it's like a gray color and you can almost tell that that's that's the lead powder or basically almost vaporizing and adhering to everything all right something interesting to note is you can see that the penetration into the second layer here is you know you have these small holes here down where it is the M855 it's the second layer of denim that wraps up the second tile layer um, is only slightly split here and then you look at the M193 which has a higher velocity and it creates a much greater kind of hole here now I don't know if it's because these are just closer to each other and it kind of obliterated more or what but you can see how these basically ejected a great amount of second um, tile layer outwards and so it almost to me it feels like there's more energy that had gotten further into the plate series and started ejecting out uh, fragments and that's why you have the larger kind of blow out of the den in there so interesting alright here's the uh, the plate that we <clears throat> shot all kind of opened up and it was kind of pain in the ass to get it apart but one thing I realized is that I didn't let it set and cure long enough so some of the glue is actually not fully hardened so uh, interesting so make sure you <laughs> at least I mean this is about I think three to four days so um, I'd probably give it about two weeks to kind of let, make sure all the um, the glue hardens but if you look here, this is the uh, M855, and I kind of cleaned off an area here and scraped away, and that's actually, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a slight dent in there. You can see where the other one hit, and you can kind of see some of the lead powder there, a little gray. But here where the M855 is, there's actually a s small dent, and if you look up here where I cleaned off for the M193, there's absolutely nothing. So there is, there is no deformation in the plate here, but there's a slight deformation in the plate here for the M855. So my original theory of, hey, I think the M193 got closer to penetrating than the M855, I don't think so now. Um, <laughs> what I think is that there is more energy delivered down to the second plate here. You can see a lot more destruction in the in the second plate here versus the M855 however that steel penetrator was probably may have may have come in contact with this so um, and that's what actually made the dent so anyways I don't know put your go ahead and what, tell me what your theories are uh, put them down in the comments section below and uh, if you guys are uh, 
like this or you want to see more stuff like this, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, hit subscribe. Uh, helps me out. And uh, if you want any of the products here that I used, um, uh, find out where the place that I bought this was on Amazon. So I'll go ahead and put a link to all that stuff in the, in the video description below. Just go ahead and look on the video description, click, click it, buy it. And uh, anyways, um, if you guys test stuff out, please uh, go ahead and post the video and uh, go ahead and send me a message and I'll go ahead and look at it. All right, thanks guys.